Alrighty, let me just edit this so I can, so you guys can see it better. I like to brighten it there. That makes it better when we brighten it and then flip it. There we go. Okay. Hi everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. And uh, what is it that's causing your issues? What, which, which, which thing is it? Which thing is it? Um, am I having a thyroid issue or not? And, and these are conversations I've had a lot in the past week alone, where you're like, okay, I Googled it and I Googled adrenal fatigue. I think I have adrenal fatigue, but then I Googled thyroid problems and actually a lot of the same stuff popped up on that list. It might be a thyroid problem. I don't know which one it is. How do I know which one it is? Right? Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about these issues and then talk about how we navigate them and what to look at. Yes. So um, when we look at these issues, these are common things. I've talked about all of these things with a handful of gals today alone, today alone, right? Fatigue, weight gain, decreased libido, inability to build muscle. Like I'm working out and I used to be able to build muscle and nothing's happening now. Yep. I'm not getting good sleep or I'm sleeping and I'm not feeling rested. I'm having hair loss. Like so much hair comes out in the shower. I cannot lose weight no matter what I do. I have some brain fog. I have mood swings, you know, all of these things. And you're thinking, gosh, well, what is it, right? So I've listed off some things here that we look at that can be the culprit of some of these things. So we look at thyroid, right? I just, yes, thyroid can cause that fatigue. Thyroid can cause weight gain. Thyroid can cause decreased libido, right? Thyroid can make it tougher to build muscle, um, bad sleep. It can contribute to hair loss, inability to lose weight. All of these things, it could be thyroid, absolutely. Yeah, but it could also be your adrenals, right? <laughs> this does look really messy, but I drew lines to all of them. Does every single, like does gut cause every single one of these things? Not necessarily, but there's a huge correlation with issues with these things because you could have uh, too much estrogen or not enough progesterone or not enough testosterone and it shows up like an adrenal issue or like a thyroid issue, right? The same issues, an issue with these hormones or not enough nutrient, if you're nutrient deficient, this is a big one, a big one that people don't know that they have. It can cause issues. Again, that's the green all over the place here. So if you're like, oh my gosh, which one is for me? It could be all of them. Yes. How do we know? Dutch test to the rescue. Dutch test is so nice. So nice because it looks at all these things. It looks at all of these things. We look at your estrogen levels, testosterone, progesterone, androgen levels, everything else. And then it breaks it all down in a very detailed report that we go over so you can understand what this means. And then we also look at a detailed adrenal report. What are your adrenals doing? How are they functioning? And then we also look at your nutrient and neurotransmitter levels. This tells us all in one test. That's why I include it in the 12 week challenge. That's why I have it as a part of it. So if you are not on the wait list for the next 12 week challenge, I'm putting a link in the comments for you to be able to get on the wait list because this is how you can know exactly what's going on in your system. This is how you can know. No more guessing, no more trying things and hoping that they work, right? I talked to somebody today who was convinced that her issue was an estrogen issue. She's like, yeah, I have all these things, all these symptoms that, you know, my, um, that my friend has and she had hormone testing and hers was the estrogen. So I think mine is estrogen. So I've been doing these things for estrogen. I'm like, well, is it, is it working for you? Like, are you the, well, no, not like hers, but maybe I just need to do it longer. You know, maybe this is something I need to do, you know, more consistently or something. And I'm like, okay, well, based on what we're seeing, on your report, <laughs> it is not an estrogen issue. It is a, a, an adrenal issue that again presents very similarly, right? Because you have that fatigue, you have that weight gain, you have a decreased libido. Yes, if you have a cortisol, this says cortisol there, I got, it got covered up because I got excited about connecting all these things. If you have a lot of stress and cortisol, guess what happens? You don't have a libido either. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now there's nothing wrong with you. It, yeah, your system's just way stressed out. Hello. <laughs> yeah, can't build muscle. You're going to have terrible sleep because your body can't uh, calm down and rest very well at night. Um, sometimes you can lose hair from this too. Um, you know, not able to lose weight. I know some of these markers, I don't know if you can see the connection here, 
but you will have a lot of these same symptoms. But how do we really know we're targeting the right thing? How do you know that what you're actually doing is worth your effort? That's why we test for it. That's why we look for it and make sure that the things we're doing are actually moving your system forward. Um, you know, we will do retesting if we need after a certain period of time, but a lot of times it's incredible the turnaround that you have, like how good you can feel in your body when things are working correctly, because you can guess all day long and then put a ton of energy, effort, money towards something that it, it might not be the thing. It might not be the estrogen. That's a big swing and a miss. So is that saying what she was doing is bad? It's not bad, right? Because then she was like, dang it, I've been screwing things up. And I was like, you're not screwing it up necessarily. It's just you're trying to fix something that doesn't need to be fixed. You know? It's like if your car needs gas and you keep changing the oil and you keep cleaning the windshield, is it bad to have a super clean windshield? No, but you're not going to get anywhere. Let's put gas in the tank. <laughs> kind of important, right? So that's what we look at. So uh, that's what I wanted to kind of show you guys and demonstrate that all these very similar issues, these symptoms that a lot of women experience, a lot of people experience this. It can be from many of these things. And this can be high or this can be low for a lot of these as well. So it's important that we look at this. It's important that we dive in and make sure we're targeting the right things. Yes. Um, other resources I have for you are my books, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon talking all about how to eat for your hormones in your cycle, how to align your food with what's going on with your cycle every single week throughout the month. And then The Female Menopause Solution, also on Amazon, if you don't have an active cycle anymore, how to eat for your menopause body because your body needs different nutrients for that. So um, those are on Amazon, great resources there. I also have my YouTube channel, which is called Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to stay updated on all the videos I have coming out. Lots of great information like this to help you take the next steps in the right direction. And then my podcast, which is called The Female Health Solution. Um, so much information there as well. I, I have some great interviews um, that are just coming out. So make sure you subscribe to stay updated when a new episode releases. All right, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have any questions. If you want me to do a deep dive on something, if you're looking at this and you're like, wait, how can your nutrient levels impact your muscle building ability? How can it impact bad sleep? I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. Dive into that. I'm more than happy to either leave a comment in, below or if you're not comfortable commenting, you can also message me privately um, and I'm more than happy to do a deep dive on anything that I've covered. So hope you guys have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.